If you're not aware, HICPAC's initial draft guidance was approved. This is guidance in terms of isolation, PPE, and transmission risks through touch and air in hospital settings. The deadline to provide public comment is tonight, November 6th at midnight, and this is my written public comment uh, to dissent. Hello, my name is Patrick. I am an engineer and scientist. I am a member of the public, and I possess no conflicts of interest. I implore you to reject HICPAC's draft guidance. HICPAC needs to reconvene a new panel that is balanced with professionals across multiple disciplines which have not been included in this panel. Representatives from aerosol science, occupational health and safety, ventilation or in industrial engineering, industrial hygiene, nurses, and patient representatives must be included within the discussion at minimum. Additionally, to be legitimate, HICPAC's new panel must possess the required 14 members as per their charter, as opposed to the current illegitimate nine, three of whom even penned a letter against universal masking in favor of smiles, presenting a clear anti-science bias. This new HICPAC panel must also host public meetings for direct input sessions with the public, allowing for transparency within the process, including posting draft guidance and recommendations well in advance of important sessions, not the day of. Furthermore, scientific citations must be required for every proposed guideline or recommendation, as opposed to the currently vague expert opinion or standard practice. The current draft guidance has systemically weakened numerous recommendations in the guise of standardization of terminology across the document and use of the word soiled over contaminated. To my first point, in patient placement number five, in quotes, anytime room sharing occurs, precautions need to be in place to limit potential for cross-contamination was downgraded to should be in place. This changes from a must-do requirement to a nice-to-have requirement. Similarly, under routine air precautions, in quotes, a mask is worn by healthcare professionals on entry to a room, this was downgraded to, healthcare professionals should use a mask on entry to a room. The original is written as a requirement, while the revised sentence is a suggestion. Furthermore, a soiled mask is one that is visibly dirty, which makes the burden of changing a mask, cleaning a mask, or even reusing a mask a much higher threshold to meet. Employers would easily misuse this criterion to then ask personnel, well, is your mask soiled? No? Then you're fine to continue wearing it, when the mask would then be a continued source of contamination and possible infectious transmission to both the healthcare provider and to other patients they are caring for. Furthermore, a well-fitted N95 respirator masking needs to be explicitly defined as opposed to the incredibly vaguely written source control that replaced areas where masks were originally written. The most egregious example of weakening the guidelines is saying one should use PPE when someone is visibly sick or symptomatic. This completely ignores asymptomatic presentation, which would still result in infection, and completely disregards a patient's exposure history. Every patient should always be treated as potentially infectious. That is the only way we can significantly reduce nosocomial infections and to make hospitals safe for the general public once more, and more importantly, safe for the immunocompromised and elderly. People should not have to feel they are putting their life at risk and are risking long-term disability when seeking out medical care. These draft guidelines are atrocious and do nothing but weaken the current standard of care. A new legitimate committee must be convened with an emphasis on crafting guidance that focuses on strengthening recommendations and improving public health care. The current committee has done their best to degrade the recommendations and guidance of medical institutions and their thinly veiled efforts to save hospitals an extra penny. Do better.